My name is Kelly Thompson Brazil. I'm a nurse practitioner with cardiothoracic surgery at Wake Med in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'm also a doctor of nursing practice student at Duke University. I would like to talk with you today about how to stop the leading cause of death in young athletes, sudden cardiac arrest. One high school student suffers sudden cardiac arrest every three days. Victims require emergency treatment with electrical defibrillation. I've spent the majority of my career managing acutely and critically ill cardiac patients. I have helped resuscitate numerous cardiac arrest victims. Defibrillation within three to five minutes is the only proven way to prevent death during a cardiac arrest episode. Survival drops 10% for every one minute defibrillation is delayed. In order to prevent death, we need to get automatic external defibrillators, commonly called AEDs, to treat students and prevent these tragic outcomes. Some people may be quick to point out that emergency medical personnel are present at many high school and college sports games, particularly football games. But my question to you is, what happens if the cardiac arrest occurs during practice or preseason training? Will an AED be immediately available? Will someone, such as a certified athletic trainer, who is trained in CPR and AED use, be there to treat the student? All too often, the answer is no, and the results can be fatal. As a parent, I want AEDs and people trained in CPR and AED use present at every practice and every game. In 2013, the U.S. Senate introduced a bill to prevent and treat sudden cardiac arrest in student athletes. It's called the HEARTS Act. If it's voted into law, it will provide creation of education, awareness, and risk assessment materials. The bill also will require state agencies to distribute these materials to schools. And it also mandates emergency response training, such as CPR and use of AEDs. A heart muscle disorder called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy runs in families, and it is responsible for about 36% of these sudden cardiac arrest deaths. Other types of heart structure abnormalities and fatal cardiac rhythms are also commonly involved. Blacks and males are at higher risk. Strenuous exercise aggravates these conditions and puts the students at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. In the United States, pre-participation physical exams are mandated for student athletes. Unfortunately, a thorough physical examination alone may not detect all congenital cardiac anomalies. According to the Sudden Cardiac Death Foundation, 115 student athletes died of sudden cardiac arrest between 1985 and 1995, despite undergoing pre-participation physical exams. In addition to the preparation and training already discussed, the HEARTS Act will also incorporate EKGs as part of a standard pre-participation physical exam. An EKG is a simple, non-invasive test of the heart's electrical system. It takes about three minutes to complete, and it costs roughly $35. It can help screen youth and sports for potentially fatal heart issues. As a cardiothoracic surgery nurse practitioner, I can personally tell you that EKGs save lives. I see it every day. While some opponents argue that incorporating EKGs into a pre-participation physical exam is not financially worthwhile, parents of children who died from sudden cardiac arrest would disagree. In the end, the additional education, EKG screenings, and AEDs will cost more money. However, data from other countries show that this money would be well spent. For example, Italy implemented EKGs as part of pre-participation physical exams in 1982. Since then, there has been a 90% decrease in sudden cardiac arrest-related deaths in those athletes who received the EKG screenings. This is proof that we can save lives with the appropriate education and interventions. Young athletes shouldn't die playing sports they love. Contact and educate your senators and representatives. Ask them to co-sponsor and vote yes to the HEARTS Act of 2013.